Getting on. Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is. Well, you know, undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was. I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> Okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. I'm just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on, get! You take care now. Of course. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. Life ain't just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night? With those men, did you kill them? I did what I had to do. To protect you. Ma said it was pride or something? Your Ma was wrong about that. Here. You wanna take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. All right. <laughs> it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster, give them a little switch, and then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. That's enough? For now. Back in Strawberry, eh, hey, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. 
Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Levi's crop short again. Wonder where they'll say this time. Hi. I'm here to Name? M my name? Um uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston... Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. <clears throat> I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, uh, it's, uh... Mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here. You take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yeah. Hear that Laramie gang's got. We're going back to Pro Boy, okay? So wait. We've come all the way out here and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Pia! Slow it down. Don't want to seem like we're running away from anything. Uh, okay. Whoa! Yeah! Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Actually, you know what? Faster. Yes, sir. Yeah! Faster, please. Okay. What? What's wrong? 
Don't look around. Oh, Pod, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on! Quick, now! Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Morrison? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob me. You're talking bullshit, mister! Kill him! Close. Let's go. Come on, get up. Oh dear, those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now compose yourself. You killed them, Pa. Son, I need you to hold it together. Why are you going so slow? You were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. There, there. Okay. Hey, uh, you know, your mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm-hmm. What was it called? Mm-hmm. Well, what was the name, boy? Beecher's Hole. That's right. Beecher's Hole. Over by Blackwater. You're going so fast! You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as a rancher's boy. Like Doug and Gettys, huh? I don't like going this fast. I wasn't so sure, but... Yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Okay, here we are. That was in... Uh... Eventful trip.
Go say hi to your mother. How was the... What happened? Yeah. It's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! It was your dress that caused all the problem. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think he wants? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Abigail! Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I've begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. 
There's work to be done, unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. That's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! Yeah, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. Hmm. Experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife. My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Use my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. 
You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. Excuse me, sir. Can I, Come on. can I help you? Watch out. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit. So I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch. Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Let's go, girl. Help you, friend? I hope so. Who's in charge here? 
No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <coughs> Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Look. Take some money. Go try and find somewhere else to stay. You for real, friend? Sure, take it. <laughs> You're a real gentleman. Okay, boys, let's go celebrate. <laughs> Thanks, mister. Ah, it's you, the man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. But they just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come, too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> Interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I seem. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I own a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, 
my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we gonna farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the till. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. Good morning, sir. Hey there, Hector. My name's John. I knew Arthur, Alden's friend. I'm another, um, discouraged man. Ah, uh, yes. Say no more. I've got something here you might be interested in. So, what are we looking at? This is a big one. Armored bank and coach heading into Strawberry. You'll probably need something to blow the doors. All right. Good seeing you, Hector.
you a traveler? Well, we ain't from around here, neither. We're from Laramie. The range out here is real inhospitable. You see, we're paid to make it that way. man.
nice mount you got there. Why don't you just get off your horse so we can take the market? Sneaks, bring it to the Good girl now. Well, what's eating you, partner? Eating me? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll dry up. See, I'm, uh... Hey, can I ask you a strange question? I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the level. I don't have a clue what you just said. Well, I'm sorry, sport. Uh, there's these funny rock carvings. They look a bit like this. Okay. Yeah, well, the thing is, I sort of, like, really badly have to find all of them. Now, it's sort of a puzzle thing to me. Uh, I know, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the up and up, and it's really important. These little rock carvings. Yeah, exactly. Little rock carvings. What do you want to do with them? Well, it's sort of very complicated, and you'll think I'm jazzed if I tell you. You're what? Drunk. Are you... No. Huh. I wish. No. I'm, uh, lost. It's a long story. Can you find the carvings? I have no idea. Well, I sort of need them. Hey, listen. If you find them, I'll pay you handsomely. Send me details, if you can. Here's my card. And if I can't? Well, I'm sure you can, sport. I'm sure you can't. Francis Sinclair. John Marston. Pleasure. But I don't understand. What are you going to do with these things? Well, I told you. If I told you, you'd think I was on the hooch. The what? I'm going to have a lie down. I don't feel very well. And neither would you. It... Yeah, but, hey, what harm could it do? <sighs> what a lunatic.
<laughs> Good looking horse there. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. Best to have a good saddle that'll hold up. Always good to have one of those. Adding on to a saddle helps personalize it. That's a nice addition on a saddle. Adding on to a saddle helps personalize it. The way I see it. Nice! You only live once, lest you're a cat. I got one of them myself. Hey, it costs more for a reason. That'll make your horse happy. Bring that horse back. Keep good for nothing, cheap you bastard. I ain't hearing no more of this. I won that game fair and square. Stay by this post. Hello. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you, get out of here. John Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff, good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. Huh. Well, it's legal, um, usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. How you do? Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. John! No! Can I continue? I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said, if we found him... I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. 
I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Yeah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I got Uncle with me. We'll be okay. Uncle? Getting a scout by that gang out there might be preferable than living with him. Sometimes I think the same. you can find. Like I said, feller's name is Nathan Kirk. Banker. Bald. 45. Okay. You head up that way. I'll meet you in a bit. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Oh! Got him? Oh, shut up! Come on, jump on! You're a good Billy. We gotta get after him! Remember, we want him alive, though! I know! Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I, I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. How, how you married, sir? None of your business what I am. Hey, quiet now. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Send it on my behalf to West Elizabeth Cooperative Bank in Blackwater. Pay down my loans. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So no, I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you.
Here it is, folks. You ain't a tourist, so I'm guessing you're a bouncy hunter. Posters usually go up on that wall there. Hmm. Or Kavanaugh. He's one of them boys down from Laramie. Happy hunting. Let's go, girl.
we're making a big mistake. Up you get. Don't know who you think I am, but I ain't done nothing. Oh, I can't wait to kill you. Coming on, girl. What kind of coward? That's enough out of you. Oh, my stomach's turning something rotten. Can you take it easy? Nope. I really don't feel good. And I really couldn't care less. I think I'm going to be sick. <coughs> Spill any of your guts on my horse. I'll spill yours on the ground. I'm just as fine taking you in dead. <coughs> Keep it shut. Oh, God, no. This boot's wet. It's coming back to me now. Sock full of piss. We're staying my life. And you saved the worst for last. <coughs> Someone's here to see you, Sheriff. Bart Cavanaugh. Put him down in one of the cells. You know who I am, Sheriff? You know who's protecting me? I hope you're sweating, because you're going to feel it for this. It's your boss who got you brought in, you dumb bollock. Now shut up. This is the worst mistake you ever made. Money's there. I'm gonna take some comfort in seeing at least one of them Laramie boys meet justice. Take it if it helps you sleep at night, Sheriff. Cause the rest of them got free rain out there. Oblige. Hey, uh, no more posters going up here for a while. Mayor don't like the way it looks. We are a tourist town, after all. Jesus, who'd do a thing like this? Hello? Not here.
you up. I'm gonna fight you. You better damn not. That was a nice hat you was wearing. I'll make you... I'll make you in the path, mister. I would love to see you try. There you go. Now, let's get you to Blackwater. me alive they won't know what to do with me the judge is gonna let me go so i can come and find you they want me dead and buried and all forgotten about uh. Uh. here we are blackwater police inside god damn it i'll bite you yeah yeah well got you that skinner brother elias green set me down elias green as i live and breathe god damn it. put him in a cell you ain't got a rope strong enough for me sheriff justice will be done and done quick lock him up That man ain't worth spit. But here's what we're paying for him. You don't mean that, do you, Chief? Lucky we I'll take it. You're making an old Chief's life a little easier, you know? How about coming back in a while, picking up another poster? You want to hear about the murders? All the folks I killed? How they scream, Chief? What kind of world do we live in? Be a good girl now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Anybody need a ride? Look out! Can I get a ride? <laughs> Where can I take you today? Can you take me to San Denis, please? Take some time to rest up. It's gonna be a long road. I, I'm looking for Gavin. Be my best friend. Glory! Can I help you? I think I might be able to help you. My name's John Marston. I heard about your work through an old friend of mine, Arthur Morgan. He passed some time ago. Ah, oh, yes, of course I remember. Arthur, fine fellow. What a shame. Well, that is very kind of you, Mr. Marston. A little assistance here would certainly be appreciated. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Well, only the basics. Avoid them whenever possible. <laughs> well. Did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> well, let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death roll. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today. You stay there, you'll get a great shot, and then you'll get eaten. <sighs> what a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat. It'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary. Well, you carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yeah. Ten percent who survived, they're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, into the west. Oh, into the northwest, there. That's probably where we should look. Okay. Go look then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close, but not too. Oh, look. On that little beach. Doors. If we're in luck, an alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop gets butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. Ha 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 ha, yes. Yes, there. Oh, no, he's gone. Ah! Can you stop the boat just there, off the island? Sure. If we stop too long, the locals are gonna start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you, could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please, he's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might, it might just save him from the taxidermist. Fine. But, maybe I want this monster stuffed and on display. Oh, that's the spirit. <laughs> Out you go, then. Get him and, uh, get him to notice you, and then turn tail and run. If I'm eating, I hope he eats you, too. Keep going. Through the palm. He's awake! Come on, Gator. Quick, 
Covered the boat! In, 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 in! Got him! What a specimen! Nearly got him eating me! I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. All right, okay. Now we go east of here, or back to the southeast. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. Gators got some catching up to do then. Cases, trunks, shoes, boots, belts, Bibles. They'll make anything out of gator leather that the market desires. And all the gator's gonna do with your leather is eat it. Maybe chew on it a while. But quite. It's hardly fair. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than... than... alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of them, then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer. Chugged up the waterways and churned whole bayous into mud. Thankfully, the state legislator put a stop. Paddle steamer, huh? Why didn't we think of that? stayed on that bank where I found you. No. Now, the last one is southwest. 17 feet, 19 feet, 21 feet with a five-foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's 20-foot gators here and us two idiots are sitting in a 12-foot skiff? No. This is in the 70s, 80s. Right. Right. There, in the cane rig. That's a likely spot for one. Take us around the island until we see something. Okay. There, in the channel. You see its head? Poking up there. Line us up to it. Closer now. Closer. Excellent. Beast in repose. All as calm as the predator lurks. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Marston. Take us back to where we began. Anyway. I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, surely. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Well, well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe. Maybe. But usually we wait until after. That should do us. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They're gonna be any good. Oh, I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop, jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. <laughs> you sure do make me laugh the way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I... Feel such a fool around you, sir. Uh, don't worry about it. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. And try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. <laughs> okay, Missy. Chaser, take a poster. If you're anything else, take a seat.
Come on, lady. Well, I heard some youngins tried to rob the colony. That's how we screw them. What you looking for? Hey, could you help me find an Anthony Foreman? Anthony Foreman? I, uh... This goddamn... I don't recollect that name. I'd try the other place. Hey! Where you going? Shit! <laughs> Your pal just tripped me, but I'm still coming! Hey, look out! wants to see you. Shit! Hey, I think you knew a friend of mine, Tilly Jackson. Tilly Jackson? I ain't heard that name in a time. Hey, you're not the... No, he was bigger. Look! If you're with that other friend of hers, I promise to stay away. And I did. Don't bring me in, cousin Tilly Jackson. Long settled between us. But I ain't bringing you in for Tilly Jackson. I'm bringing you in because they're paying me. If my cousin was still here, you wouldn't have got me. I wouldn't have had to hide out in no slum, avoid no bounty. When he got killed and we lost them other boys at Radley's house, that's when things went sour. The foreman's ain't been quite so much since then. Here's the station. I'm guessing you ain't on this side of town much. I wouldn't piss on these people if they were burning. Anthony Foreman. He ain't society's problem no more. He's yours. Well, good to meet you finally, sir. I hope you find our accommodation suitable. Cells back there. Get comfortable. I ain't going anywhere. Well, you gonna want a hot bath after taking that trip through the slums. Actually, I like the slums. But I'm gonna need a hot bath after coming in here. Looks right. Well, I hope my men can do as good a job on these outlaws as you have. The rest around here are being made by deputies from now on.
No more bounties in San Dani, I'm afraid. Yes? Sorry. I'm... I've got this letter. Sent to an old friend of mine, Mr. Tacitus Kilgore. Now, he ain't with us no more, but I thought maybe I would be of assistance instead. Well, well, well. Let me see if the mayor has any use for you. Follow me, please, Mr. Um, what was it? Oh, I forget. Quite. Welcome to government. Democracy. An interesting idea. Monsieur Le Mieux? Come in. Oh, hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Uh, John Marston. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rub me like your friend, are you? No. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people want to speak to you, Mr. Marston. They won't hear anything about you from me. But? Oh, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous, killing? Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. Uh, I suppose I could do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, mm. a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. Uh, and how do you buy art? I don't know. I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Oof. Ouch. Ouch indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference, and I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. So... So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Marston, John Marston, to meet little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. Saint-Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Bonne chance. Come, sir, if you don't mind. The gallery is just at the end of this avenue. 
As I said, he is a beastly man, this professor. Believe me, friend. You ain't seen beastly yet. Not even close. You know, I thought we French had a monopoly on arrogance, but no. An overeducated American can be far, far worse. Luckily, there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. Yes, indeed. The mayor had such grand plans for our city. And its people. Must we go so fast? Go to the right up here. The gallery is just up ahead. There, Mr. John! There! Whoa! What's his name again? Professor Shiftaker. Professor, excuse me. Oh, hello. The mayor asked me to get a preview of your findings in there. The mayor knows very well what I've found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> that is a big claim. One that might upset some people. Myself included. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. Now I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. It gonna take a fist in your face to persuade you? Oh, oh, wait, wait! I gotta punch you to change your mind? I, I couldn't! My reputation! <laughs> How's that reputation looking now? I'd never be published again! Maybe I'll just kill you! Let this all go away. <laughs> I relent. I relent. Help me. There. <laughs> you see, Professor, an academic reputation is really far less important than a broken nose. Yes, sir. I, 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 I see that now. And the thing is, now people are going to see these paintings and love them. So you really are helping me. I... You know I'm right, Professor. Please, don't make me upset with you again. No, 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 sir, you're right. You're very, very right. So you'll send the mayor what he needs. Um... Because otherwise, I'll be in New Haven. No, no, we don't want that. Of course we don't. Where's my paper this evening, sir? Very good, Professor. Very good. <laughs> So, turns out, those pictures are all real after all. Ah. Problem solved. Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Was uh, Professor Shiftaker happy to change his mind? Uh, not initially, but we got there in the end. Oh, my lord, this is not right. Trust me, I've done a lot worse. We shall burn in hell for this. Here's hoping. Yeah, the mayor asked me to give you this. Thank you. Sorry about that.
good feeling. Done me a service. Be safe. Hello, come on in. Anyone seen Gavin? Could we please get this over and done with? I have to say, that looks just fantastic on you. Let's go, girl.
Seen Gavin. Has anyone seen an Englishman called Gavin? Hey. You're a good girl now. Look out. It's all going to blaze. I, I, I'm looking for my mate Gavin. Somebody help me. Gav? Gav? I've lost my friend. Somebody help me, please. If it isn't our bounty hunter. Back for more work, I hope. Posters on your wall there. Man. Working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You've got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I I I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town. Uh, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Uh, oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Right. 
Here we are. Come on, let's get off. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons, you take the slums. Now, uh, how about I take the saloons, and you take the slums? Find yourself. Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. No. Sorry, mister. No. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnine. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. Uh, ask that first barman I met, and he told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not one of life's great surprise. mysteries, it turns but they out. Hate a massacre, and you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... you're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Ladies sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. 
have I got a treat for you. An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Come on, Lone Wolf. Better get you the hell out of here. Hey, Lone Wolf! Whoa! Ha! Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. So it goes. Here's your share, partner. We just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. Well, I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside San Denis. What are you doing? Uh, just have a few errands to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. This way. Uh, my bag's on the dock side. So... What happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. The pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding what his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all of you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Oh. Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since... Well... That time. Nor me. Micah? I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss. The agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess What's some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened. All those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem, if it wasn't for... Hey, okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Come over here. 
What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three! <laughs> Let's go. There's a wagon up there. I'll get my bag. Okay. Come on, John. I'll try. Hey, yeah. Okay. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge, going out of town. West. Hold on. See any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. Sand and knee ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No. We can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple, You boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, it weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> Monster still out there. No, I think he's gone. Come out. Come on. Don't shoot. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! <laughs> 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 